welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive messages for the sign of Gemini. If you resonate with any of the messages that come through, um, just know there is a part two that you can dive deeper into on Patreon or Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience, okay? All right, Geminis, I want to go ahead and get started. Keep in mind this reading is timeless in general, but Gemini, um, I was getting some interesting stuff for you. Definitely an impatient energy. <laughs> definitely impatience restless don't want to wait around that's not exactly your strong suit let's just be honest your mutable air there is nothing patient about mutable air right in all the good ways gemini on all the good ways um but there's a reason to exercise patience i was almost getting like you think you know but you don't is how it was kind of coming through you think you know, but you don't. You think you know, but you don't. I feel like you're going to be exposed to, how do I want to say this? Because I feel the Ace of Cups, but I feel like learning and like just a totally different path for you or even just something that is just, you had no idea was even a thing for you. Um, like a skill or a hobby that you would actually be really good at or would be really fulfilling and you had no idea. Oh, as I said that my throat got all tight. <clears throat> excuse me um i feel like you're having some impatience about like just continuing moving forward or developing certain skills or hobbies you have now could even be work related um but i feel like there's probably been some delays there like if because i feel like you're impatient like almost like something hasn't been going the way you expected or the way you want it to go and you're like you know you're getting impatient and restless and frustrated with it but i feel like spirit is saying patience there's a reason patience there's a reason patience there's a reason and i think that reason is because there's actually something you haven't discovered yet about yourself relating to skills or hobbies something that i just feel like i keep feeling that ace of cups that would really speak to your heart and make you feel really happy so i'm kind of curious to see what's going on for you <clears throat> let me get a sip of water mm. 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 oh gemini what you doing to my throat <laughs> <laughs> ah. the power of elements oracle is the deck that i'm going to be starting with i've also been doing more yoda speak lately so i apologize i used to do that a lot and when i say yoda speak i mean like my sentences kind of come out backwards I, they, they just do what i need to um but anyway <clears throat> gemini any messages or insights for gemini please Yeah, it feels like there's like a surprise waiting for you, which is why something hasn't panned out the way you wanted, you've wanted it to, or like trying to develop certain skills hasn't been, there hasn't been a flow to it, or there hasn't been an ease about it. That's because there's still something waiting to be undiscovered. And I keep hearing it's something that you're going to be learning, like a skill or a hobby or a course or something like that. Um, but it really speaks to you. <clears throat> it really, really speaks to you. <clears throat> And it feels, oh my God, my throat. Okay, I think there's something going on with your throat chakra. Um, I've been fine like all day. And I, I, the second I start recording, it's just like, um, hold on, sorry, what was I getting at? Got all distracted by your energy. I feel like you're going to feel very grateful, like very grateful that something didn't work out so you could actually pursue whatever this is. Any messages or insights for Gemini? It's a very specific reading here for you. Am I taking this one? Yes. Ooh, face forward, you will find a way with the earth element. I, I keep getting, it's like, I feel like this message is a little confusing. Face forward, yes. Like keep like your mind open and also keep yourself open to what you haven't discovered about yourself yet, but not necessarily you will find a way. Like the way is in the undiscovered. The way is in the unknown. The way is in the unfamiliar. And I'm hearing adventure with that okay um you may need to go on a little adventure to discover this thing about yourself or this skill or gift about yourself or to run into the opportunity to be exposed to whatever this is some of you may have to cross the water in order to do that or go to another country for that okay <laughs> okay okay um the you will find a way i think is deceiving because i i could feel it like some of you were like yeah i'm gonna figure this thing out and it's like you think you are it feels very like feels very trickstery like you think you are but it's actually something else 
it's something else and it requires you to be open it requires you to be explorative i don't think that's a word um which you naturally are but i think you've been very much desiring um the progression or growth of whatever this is that you've been investing in or even focused on as far as like skills and hobbies and things like that or work some of you this is work related and i keep hearing like yeah there is another way but it's in the unknown it's in what you're not looking at or what you haven't even discovered or come across yet and it does feel like a pleasant surprise i want to get one more can i get one more for gemini please they said not necessary all right <laughs> fine all right we're gonna move on using the dreams of gaia tarot This is coming with adventure. I'm also getting that too, very, very strongly. Two, two of Cups showing itself in too. Um, this is coming with adventure. Any other messages or insights from my Geminis? Some of you feel destined for something. It's just a really strong energy that's here right now. You feel very destined for something. Y yes, I, you don't have the full picture yet. You just, they're being very clear about it. You just don't have the full picture yet. There is still something left undiscovered and it's something that's gonna be surprising and fun and exciting. And I keep getting like, you're gonna be very happy and grateful when this is revealed to you. It just is coming with travel. And some of you it's coming with, an adventure of some kind, an unexpected adventure, but it is in a very unfamiliar, unknown kind of a way to you. Like it's not, I feel like the way it's going to come about or the way you're going to pursue it is in a way that is very outside your norm. Like, I don't know how else to explain this. Like maybe some of you guys are hardcore planners. Okay. And maybe this is like no plan. <laughs> like pursue this with no plan and just whimsy right it can be it can kind of be like that like there's something about the way this comes into your life or you come into the awareness of this that is very outside your normal way of operating which I think is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you like it might require patience right like just as an example okay whoa they're taking these just that one okay the way they're throwing cards now is I don't like it <laughs> it's too it's too much the eight of air use again using the dreams of Gaia tarot all the decks that I use are linked below if you want any of these decks for yourself this eight of air is interesting so normally the eight of swords speaks to um trappings of the mind right like fear and anxiety and illusion that we create and we create prisons of our own making that is eight of swords energy it creates this energy of being stuck this one is a little different. This one speaks of choices in our beliefs and the consequences of choosing that. Why is that coming through here? It definitely is tied to your ability to see this, right? Um, to see this, which that is also based off of a choice because it requires you to be open. It requires you to be Yes, like honor the things that make you feel good and like whatever this is that you've been investing in that spirit is like, yeah, you think that's it. It's something else. Um, to allow yourself to be open to it being something else or allow yourself to be open to it being a different way. Like if this is work, maybe being open to the fact that maybe there's a career change in, on the horizon for you that actually is going to be very supportive for you and make you very happy. Or if this is like a certain skill, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, <laughs> so hard to think of examples sometimes uh like computer programming okay maybe you've been taking a lot of programming courses and maybe you're gonna try to make a career out of that or a side job or make your own program or app or whatever i'm not a computer person um and you enjoy it but maybe it hasn't been as easy as you thought or maybe the flow hasn't really been there or maybe it's getting a little lackluster that's because it's actually something else and maybe instead of programming maybe it's actually like design right and then you stumble upon that because you're open to it like you don't understand what i'm saying it's like that's what i'm getting it's like the difference in what you are open to and closed off to is what is coming up here is going to dictate how long it's going to take for you to discover this skill or gift that you innately have that you're going to develop and cultivate okay am i taking this no
I don't think you're going to, I don't think this is going to happen with brute force either. I just had that feeling of like, I'm just going to push through. It's not going to happen that way. I actually feel like if you allow for a little bit more spontaneous fun, which Geminis can also do that. Um, I think that's actually going to help you a lot. Because I keep getting like this thing about travel or adventure, allowing yourself to have more adventurous, spontaneous fun or traveling might bring this about in your awareness a lot sooner. Anything else for Gemini? Interesting. Four of air. Four of air in this deck is very not typical, like compared to the four of swords in tarot. Four of swords in tarot is a time of separation and recovery and isolation and reflecting and healing and all of that, right? And gaining clarity and from reflecting on past pain. This actually speaks to time. We're going into interesting places here, Gemini. I think this is going to be one of those woo-woo readings, okay? It just is what it is. I am getting a big time component. And yes, there is a timing to everything. We already knew that about this, right? It's like you have to discover this undiscovered thing about yourself first. That's what's got to happen first. And then you're going to really see it. You're going to really know it. You're going to really feel like, oh my God, this is what it's been the whole time. I'm not going to lie though. I'm also getting like portals. <laughs> one of those readings. I'm also getting like portals and moving through time and space and maybe even timeline jumping for some of you. I feel like there is a version of you that is already there and you can meet that version of self that is already at that point that has discovered whatever this is. You can align yourself to that version of you, okay? There's also a version of you that is almost choosing to continue to look away from it or to be close to it to stay. It's like, cause I can feel it. There's almost like this target focus on what you have already decided to focus on and you're like maintaining it. But I keep hearing it's like, there's other options and there's something you don't know. There's something you don't know and there's something you are not aware of right now as far as like the divine timing of things and why certain things are not functioning the way you want them to or not coming to fruition the way you want them to. Only air so far. Can I get one more card for Gemini please? might be a water card. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of water element all of a sudden. Can I get one more for Gemini? Can I get one more for Gemini? Hmm. Interesting. We have the four of air, not what I expected because I keep feeling water with you. And then we have the Seneschal, which is like the Knight of Pentacles. This is a gatekeeper energy. The four of uh, fire, as you can tell, is definitely the energy I was already speaking to. Like, I feel like you're like this. I feel like you're like, I know what I want and I have my eyes on the target and I'm going to keep down this path. I'm going to keep cultivating new skills or I'm going to keep working on whatever this is with work, something that's work related. It's like, I'm just going to keep at it. I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep at it. But I can feel it. It's like something is not flowing the way you want. And it's creating the sense of impatience. And I feel like we're saying, wait, there is something you haven't learned yet. There's something you haven't discovered yet. And once you discover whatever this is, I feel like it's going to completely change things for you. And maybe even change your direction, change your choices, and change what you even care about. Maybe even change your beliefs, even to a point, which is very fascinating. Uh, but I feel like this is where you're at right now. You're like, no, I'm holding to this. I am holding to this, I am holding to this, I am holding to this. Almost like you're like gatekeeping your own goal, which is kind of interesting. You're like trying to honor it and trying to have integrity, which is very Knight of Pentacles, and you're just trying to stick to it. You're trying to stick to it, stick to it, stick to it, stick to it. You also have two fours here, so just synchronicity is coming through. You can do that. You can stay the course. Just allow yourself to be patient and allow yourself to be open to what you haven't discovered yet and to be open to what you don't know yet. Okay, it's just being very clear. Um, I actually want to use the Fey deck with you. I was using the animals, 
for the last couple of readings, but I think the Fae want to play with you, Gemini. Tell me about the Eight of Air. I'm going to get a card for Eight of Air for Gemini. Yeah, I just keep hearing it's a, it's a choice in what you're allowing yourself to be open to and not open to. There, yeah, there's a timing to things and there's an order to things. Let's see, is this an initiation card? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Don't mean to have such a strong reaction. It's one of my least favorite cards in this deck. The... Glam, Glam, I can never pronounce it. Glam Connor, the Glam Connor card. <laughs> it's a shadow card. Specifically, this is about like narky energies. It's basically my card for like entities and attachments and things like that. It also represents the shadow, but not in a great way. Like sometimes the shadow has really um, positive benefits. It's needed, it just is, right? But this is like, this is distorted malevolent kind of energy interesting and it's surrounding the eight of air which is surrounding your perceptions and your choices around what you are deciding to like stay focused on or what you're deciding to be open to um why is that there <laughs> i almost want another card just to clarify let me sit with that for a minute i am hearing the word deception for some of you, this represents a person around you or in your life. Oh, I just heard for some of you, it represents many people who are of the same, <laughs> who are the same kind. It's what I just heard. People who are the same kind of like vibration or like the same kind of like uh, deceptive energy. I do feel like, yeah, for some of you, there there's a person or a group of people that are of the same kind. <laughs> so crazy how that comes out that is um, clouding your sight here, influencing your sight. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Some of you, it can represent a distortion that you have um, and probably coming from just an unhealed part of self. We've all got it, you know, it's not a judgmental thing. It just is, we, we've all been there. We all will continue to have experiences like that, but um, a distorted, unhealed part of self that could be driving this intention or this choice that's actually distracting you from possibilities of self. It's like, because I keep getting whatever this is you haven't found yet, it's you. It's just an undiscovered part of you. It's an undiscovered heart's desire. It's an undiscovered skill or hobby that just really, really speaks to you and would really make you very happy and very fulfilled. And this is distracting you from it that's keeping you from it. And for some of you, it's a person or a group of people that's also keeping you from it and affecting your choices and your sight. I wanna get one more on that. Can I get context for the for this card, please? Oh, jeez. I'm telling you, the cards are just talking today. Oh, Soul Shrinker wanted to come out. Can I get a card for the context of this energy, please? Soul Shrinker. I knew that card was going to come out again. <sighs> Soul Shrinker is the power of words, but in negative ways. You see how his teeth are all gross? It's like, it's literally the power of toxic words. So this could literally be people who are naysayers or people who like say negative things to you about you or are critical and who, who've like affected your decision making and affected your sight. It even could represent like the negative self-talk like the monkey mind and like talking negatively about the self or criticizing the self or doubt or fear or insecurities. It's all through the realm of thoughts and words, thoughts and words that are toxic, thoughts and words that are distorted and almost like distort your sight and your perception. This energy is totally like keeping you from discovering this undiscovered part of self. This is also very much tied to the weekly energy, which I'm not surprised because Gemini is very significant in the weekly energy that I was talking about <clears throat> earlier. I'm recording this on July 29th for anybody who's catching this way later.
Oh, oh, my throat. <laughs> Some of you, it's fearful thoughts. Like, like I want to do this, just like, like, like looping, almost. <clears throat> Hold on. If this is an internal dialogue, an internal program that you've developed, oh God, excuse me. This was coming through, like I said, in the weekly. It's like, what is the shadow eclipsing? What gift, what skill is the shadow eclipsing? What gift or skill is this eclipsing for you? If this isn't your internal dialogue, it's eclipsing something that comes naturally to you. And it's like preventing you from seeing what else you can do. It's preventing you from seeing what else you're capable of. Oh my God. <laughs> Gross. And like I said, if it's representing a person or people outside of you, mm -mm, get away, get away. So, so clear, get away. This is narky, vampiric, cursing you kind of energy. Just get away from it, okay? Oh, I don't like it. Ugh. Ugh. All right, <laughs> four of air. Let's go ahead and look at four of air. <clears throat> This is that component of time and there is a timing to things as well. There's a time and order to things. This is also why, again, if you've been experiencing any delays or challenges with what you've been like so focused on, it's because this thing that you haven't discovered about yourself, this skill, this gift, et cetera, that you haven't discovered about yourself that's been eclipsed by this shadowy energy, that needs to come out, okay? And I, again, I do feel like it's going to be a very pleasant surprise and it's going to make you very happy. Tell me about four of air. But I, oh, this, <coughs> the second I pick it up makes me start coughing. <coughs> this is killing it for you. Not in the good way. It's not just clouding whatever. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> Ooh. It's not only clouding it for you, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's really diminishing it, um, diminishing your ability to be able to access it. Tell me about the four of air. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. the dark lady. This came out for Virgo too, actually. So Gemini Virgos, you kind of got something going on. If you have Virgo in your chart as well, I would definitely look, <laughs> look at the Virgo reading. Oh, get away from it. That, get away from that. Oh my God. <coughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Gemini. The dark lady. I love the dark lady. She is very scorpionic. She's kind of an invitation into the shadow, into, sorry for shaking everything, into the shadow, into the subconscious, into what is lurking there. She's also a card of power though, finding empowerment in all of yourself, including your shadow. Sometimes she can be a little bit of an initiation card. When she came out in Virgo, it felt very much like she was daring Virgo to look at themselves. Um, and I do feel that dare here a little bit too with you. It doesn't feel quite the same though. <laughs> Hold on a second. It doesn't feel quite the same, but it's very similar. What is the dark lady daring you to do? Thank you. Yeah, it is very similar. She's daring you to go and discover whatever this is, but it requires you to be very uncomfortable. It requires you to operate in a way you're not used to operating, or it requires you to go into unknown, unfamiliar spaces, circumstances, <clears throat> um, in order to, to get there and to see whatever this is you haven't discovered about yourself, but it is a dare and it is uncomfortable and it is kind of unknown, but I keep, I keep getting, you're going to be so happy you did it. You're going to be so happy you did it. The other thing that makes this uncomfortable is to do that. I was afraid to pick these up again. You got to get away from that. If this is external, you got to get the hell away from these people or person. And if this is an internal dialogue, excuse me, you got to go there with yourself 
and really get to the root of why that's there. And you got to uproot that root. Okay. You, you got, you got to like, you got to get, you got to get this to stop. And that's the only way you're going to see it. Cause it's almost like this is covering it. Like this is covering what you haven't discovered about yourself yet. It's distracting you from it. It's like, it doesn't want you to know that you are capable of something specific or that you're really good at something specific. And again, it, it would just bring you a lot of joy. I know this, this is sounding, but this is just what's coming out here. So do you dare? Do you dare to confront this inside of yourself or externally and say, no more? I'm going to go into that place that's uncomfortable and I'm going to go discover what I haven't discovered yet about myself and what's available to me. It's a dare. It's a dare. All right, let's go ahead and look here at the four of fire and the seneschal. Again, I feel like this is where you've been. You've been very focused on something very specific, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. In terms of a hobby, skill, or some sort of work situa situation. <clears throat> Woo. Oh, I just got really hot. Any other messages or insights for Gemini? I almost said Virgo. Yeah, you and Virgo got something going on here. Oh, I don't like that. I can feel it. I'm just like, blah. Just blah. Uh, so I like a goat there for a second. So about four of air and the sun of shawl. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. The Singer of Courage. So the Singers are really unique in this deck. I love the Singers. The Singers are actually a vibration. Literally, vibration, a song, a frequency of a certain emotion or experience. And this is the Singer of Courage. Courage doesn't mean to be lacking in fear. It actually means you're afraid, but you're going to do it anyway. The Dark Lady's daring you making you very uncomfortable, making you confront this inside of yourself or externally, are you brave enough to face that? Are you brave enough to face that for what it is and be done with it and brave enough to also look at yourself in a deeper way to discover what you haven't discovered about yourself? I feel like that would excite you more than anything out of all of this, Gemini, that there's something you don't know about yourself yet. Mm. That's exciting, isn't it? Can I get one more for the Singer of Courage? <clears throat> for Gemini. Ooh. Yeah, two more. Yeah, the surprise card. Ooh, mm, very nice. We have the gotcha card. The gotcha card is literally the card of surprise, which I was already feeling with you. Like whatever this is you haven't discovered yet, it's a very pleasant surprise and it's gonna change a lot of things for you and it's gonna make you very happy. This card can also speak to unpleasant surprises too, but I feel like there's a pleasant surprise here. And then we have Arvel Parrot, which is a card of <clears throat> communication. It's also a card of truth, whether you want to hear it or not, whether people around you wanna hear it or not. But I do feel like the surprise is also just the truth of whatever this undiscovered gift or skill of yours is. But the only way you're gonna find it is if you muster up the courage to really be honest about this energy in your life, whether it's your own internal dialogue and unhealed stuff, or it's an external person or persons who just suck your energy and magic and hope away. This is dragging on your energy. It is. It's dragging on your energy. And the dark lady is like, you going to do it or not? You going to face this and be brave or not? Mm, very interesting. All right, Geminis, we're going to go into part two. Um, I hope this has been supportive for you, whether you are parting from us now or joining me for part two. And I hope you have a great night and I will see you later. Bye, Geminis.